Hello, friends. We are on Bible, and this is the end of the day for us. Um, I don't know about you, but phew, I'm tired. A lot of work today. Um, just like a regular class day because we did all of our classes. I'm going to say it again, and I'm even going to put it in the email when I send the link to your parents. Please do not ask mom and dad to help you with this. The only thing that I need them to do for you is help you rewind the video if you need it. I need to know what you know on this. And these lessons that we do today and we do all week, I'm here teaching. I'm teaching all of the lessons. So all of the lessons, just like you would hear them in the classroom, are right here on this video. The only thing we can't do is be together. So everything you need is right here on the video. If you need help, um, you're going to need to text me. You're going to have mom text me because I want you to just rewind the video so that I can see what you know, not what mom knows or dad knows because I know they know what they need to know. I don't know what you need to know. So I don't know what you know what you need to know. So I need to make sure that the work I'm seeing is your work and not mom or dad's work, and not your friend's work, and not your dog's work, especially not your dog's work. They really don't spell it very well. So make sure you're giving me your work. Rewind the video, watch the video over and over and over. It's okay, but I need your answers on this. Okay? Okay. Enough said. That brings us to Bible. And Bible is not a sheet that you have because I still, I, as I, when you went home yesterday, I saw them sitting right on top of my printer and I went, no, I didn't hand those out. But that's okay because we can adjust, adapt and adjust. So what you will need for Bible today is one of these sheets of paper. Okay. I'm just gonna give you a sheet of paper like this and I'm gonna tell you what to write up at the top. And you will see that when I share my screen with you, you'll see that I have a couple of different things up here. Um, share screen. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to switch back as I'm talking today. I'm going to switch back between your paper that you have right here and this page, which is what we've been finishing up yet, uh, this week in Bible. So I'm going to switch back. I'm actually going to work from this paper and get my answers for you on this paper, and then I'm going to have you write them on this paper. Okay, so Let's get this paper ready to work today. And what we need to do is the first thing, like always, we need to write our name. So let's start right here. Okay. You're going to put your name up here. And you're going to put your date. And I do need you to write a title on this. So we're going to put Bible. And I think we'll write page 40. Because that's the page we're doing today. So write your name, your date, the word Bible, and page 40 for me. You need to stop the video and get that done, go ahead, do that, come back when you're ready, and you'll be good to go. Great, I think you're back, and I think we're ready. So let's look back on our Bible. And what we're going to do is, is yesterday, we looked at these words, the words God's purpose, we were, looked at God's purpose for you. It says, just as God had a plan for Moses and his people, he also has a plan for you. Use the following words in the puzzle to see some of the things God has planned in your life right now. And we actually did these. We read the blanks and we filled in the words and we filled them with the letters that go in them. So I'm going to help you put the words in here and I'm actually going to have you write the words down on your paper and I'll show you how to write them. 
what the main purpose of this one is to review some of these concepts, some of these things that we talked about. But the other thing is to get you used to looking at writing words in a crossword because crosswords are a lot of fun. But it takes a certain a certain way to read them to understand what word goes in what blank. So that's kind of what we're doing today in part is we're looking a little bit at crosswords. Okay, here are our word choices up here. And we looked at them as family, fun, church, chores, school, and friends. And we've already done all these works, words in here. We just need to put them down. So when we looked at number one down, it said during the week, we go to blank to learn. And we decided that we go to school to learn. This word is school, and this is the one we're going to use right here. School to learn. We're going to put the word school right in there. Okay, we've already done this on our papers here. Now we need to figure out where it goes down here. So if I look at this word down, we know that down is pointing, there it is, pointing down. So the word we're looking for is number one, pointing down. So if I look on my puzzle up here, I see it. You see my number one and you see the arrow pointing down. That means that this word school is going to be written right down in here, okay? So when we write it, we write S C H. They already have the O, so we need to do the second O. Okay, that's how you write it in the crossword. Now let me come over here and remember that was one number one down. Okay, so on here, um, oh, I forgot to tell you to do yes nos. Please do yes, no's. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. And that should be enough. We don't have that many today. We need to, we'll add more, but you don't have to do the whole thing. Okay, so up here we've got number one, and we're going to put a D for down. And the word, if you remember back, the word that goes in that spot is school. School. How do we spell school? Looks like this. S C H O O L. School. Okay, please write that down. And I'm going to go on to number two, but if you need to stop to get that word school down, that's okay. So now we're at the next one. And number next one is also down, but this is number three down. Oh, they skipped two. Where's two down here? Because it's in a different place in the crossword. It's something that I want us to work on. This word, number three, the answer is also going to go down but it's by the number three. Hang on just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. So it's going to start with the number three and push down. So if we look over here, no, 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 no. Oh, there it is. See the number three pointing down? That's where my answer is gonna go. And it says number three, we need to learn to do our blank at home. And when we talked yesterday, we decided that the best word to fit in there is going to be this word up here, chores. And if you look, you see that little word in the big word there, or chores. So when you put it in a crossword, if you were here with me today, here was what we would do. We'd write C, H, it was already there, R, And then across where the words, the letters that are already there, if they match what you're doing, then you know you're probably getting the right answer on it. 
Now we need to transfer it to our paper. So what did we say? That was three down. So it's going to be called 3D. Remember, don't write on the no. Write down on the yes. I'm going to write a three and a D for three down. And the word we were going to put in there was shores. C-H-O-R. Go ahead and get that down. And if you didn't get that down, go ahead and stop the video. But we're going to move on to the next one today. Next on our list is another one down. We did number one, got that one done. We did number three. Now we need to do number four down. So we're going to call this 4D. And it says, God wants us to enjoy our life and have blank. Let's find 4D. I need to move up a little bit here. Oh, there it is. I see it right here. 4D. That is a word that has three letters. And when we looked up on our list, oh, we've only got one word up here that has three letters. A few N. That one's got to be it. When we put it in our puzzle, we write F U and when we write it on our paper, we write we put my next F, we write four D for down, and then we're writing the word fun. F U Very good. You should be done with these top ones. And we're moving back here to look at the next ones. Now my next ones, oh, better cross this one off. My next ones are different. They're not down, they're called across. That means my words are gonna go this way instead of this way, okay? So I'm looking for words that are gonna go like that. And if I look at number two, across, we're going to put that as 2A. It says, God wants us to attend blank to learn more about him. Well, let's find 2A. Oh, I see it right there. And I notice that this word already starts with the letter C. Can I put family in there? No, it won't be right, will it? So I need to find a word that starts with C that goes in there. If I look, I've got the word church right here. That sounds like perfect word to go in here. So when I write it in my blank, it would look like C-H-U-C-H. It would fit nicely into my puzzle. And on my paper, I'm going to write this as 4 A. Remember to write it on a yes, don't write it on a no. And then this word was church, C-H-U-R-C-H. There you have it. Very good. All right, coming back to the next one. Oh, better put a check mark right here because we did that one already. Now we're looking at four across, so we'll call this four a. We've already done 4D, didn't we? Now we need to do 4A. And it says, God wants us to love our what? Our what? Begins with an F. And it looks like it's got an L down there. Let's see what our choices are. Hmm. Our friends or our family? Yeah, they'll both work, but our clue word, our clue letter, it's going to be this L right here. So which of these two words has an L in it? Hmm. See it? There it is right there. So the word that fits in this is going to be family. All right. So when we come down here, we write F A M.
family. And when we put it up on our paper, it's going to be four. Oh, wait. What was that again? Sorry. I lost it. Hang on. No, it is four A. What did I miss up there? Back up. That was two A. Two A. This one is four A. And the word is family. A. We are almost done. Looks like we're on the last one. Mark off this one. And look at five across. We're going to call this 5A. It says, God wants us to learn to share with our blank. Share with our blank. We've only got one left. Friends right here. Friends. Hmm. Love that word. You know I do. Friends. So let's write it right in here. F R I E D C friends. Very good. Very, very, very good. So now that's what, five across. All we need to do is write it in our paper right here, and we're done. Five, A, friends. All right, if you need to stop this video to get all of these down, great, do it. I need to make sure you have done this. Now remember, like I said, this is how I'll know that you are doing the work and watching those videos because these videos are your school. You are going to school this week. The school's at a little different time in a little different place, but we still have school and this is it. So if you're not you don't turn in a paper that looks like this one, I'll know that maybe you weren't, you weren't watching the video. And I need you to be watching the video. So make sure you get that down, you get that one done. And that brings us to the end of today. We worked hard. You did great work today. I am really, really proud of you. And what I'm going to do next is load all these videos up send them in an email to your mom. You can start on them probably tonight or tomorrow, whichever you prefer, and you'll work from there. Good job today again, and I will talk to you tomorrow morning for English.